people behold the lord will come to save the nations and the lord will make the glory of his voice heard in the joy of your heart dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus today's first reading from the book of isaiah offers us hope comfort consolation healing of body and mind with the coming of Christ the savior into our hearts and our homes the advent is all about expectation and preparation like the people who eagerly awaited for the promised messiah in joy and hope we too prepare ourselves and wait for Christ's glory to be revealed in our lives This season of waiting brings us very particular joy and hope against all difficulties and challenging situations you and I are living. In most problematic condition we need to remind ourselves that God is with us and this assurance is the key to our Christian faith and to all those who have lost hope in their lives. and find no more meaning to live their lives God's word today consoles us he is like a shepherd feeding his flock gathering lambs in his arms the lord is feeding us with hope comfort consolation and heals every hurt and wounds caused because of our indifference to god and to our brothers and sisters He gathers us in his arms and fills us with joy and peace everlasting the joy and peace which the world can't give Today we are invited to experience Christ the Lord in our lives in a realistic way as we profess our faith in him How can the hope the comfort the consolation and the healing of the Lord be made our own It is by making the gospel as the foundation of our life and the source of our living and decision making. We are called courageously live the gospel today in our life situations, in our culture, political and economic conditions. The gospel prepares us to respond to Christ's invitation. to follow him in a radical way under all circumstances the gospel makes us to experience christ in our innermost being and to have profound relationship with him true it's demanding but the lord comes to our aid because we need to be assured that god is with us the coming of christ jesus is cause for joy a deeper experience than christmas cheer a voice cries prepare in the wilderness a way for the lord make a straight highway for our god across desert into the despair of the wilderness the lord brings hope friends have hope the lord will change your lives and into joy On our part we need to make that full step of filling valleys and leveling mountains of darkness of our life with the light of Christ. To embrace the future with hope should be the foundation of Christian vocation. We are called to practice the virtue of hope, the fruit of our faith in the Lord of history, who continues to tell us, be not afraid. For I am with you. O Francis says, this hope hope is not based on statistics or accomplishments, but on the one in whom we are put our trust, the one for whom nothing is impossible. This is the hope which does not disappoint. It is the hope which enables Christian to keep writing its its great history. well into the future the brothers and sisters let the hope of christmas fill our hearts and homes god bless you all